Welcome back. A recent spike in crime on the North Shore has left many community members shaken. Most recently, an armed robbery at a food truck during dinner hours. Nikki Schenfeld spoke with victims and finds out what the community is doing to combat the crimes. We were closing down the food truck, and next thing you know, there's a guy at the door with a gun pointed at me. The cashier of a North Shore food truck is still shaken after she says a man with a pink Power Ranger mask and camouflage pants held a gun to her and demanded money just before 8 o'clock Friday night. I still have that fear, still having the nightmares of a gun being pulled in your face. The incident is raising high concern for the community after several cars and homes were broken into within the last two weeks. Two Fridays ago, I had my car stolen from my car carport. The night before, my dad's car was also broken into. The thieves left behind a mess. The following night, a home near Velzeland broken into. As I came downstairs, and my front door was wide open, the gate to my porch was wide open. And the screen into one of my living room windows was uh, had been removed. Her car was stolen from her garage. When I found my car, um, uh, the back window had been busted open. There were several items in my car that did not belong to me. Since October 1st, HPD's crime map shows there have been 63 reported crimes within a four-mile radius from Waimea Bay to Valsiland. That's more than June and July combined in the same area. Community members are encouraging one another to remain vigilant and that if they see something or if something happens to them, to say something. Everyone should watch out for each other. That's how we were brought up. North Shore resident Leah McNamara is creating neighborhood watch signs in hopes of raising awareness. It's really disheartening to have people not feel safe out here on the North Shore. We should all come together and whatever we have to do as a group effort, <laughs> Do something about this. The community encourages residents to exchange phone numbers with neighbors and report anything suspicious to police and each other. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News.